Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can install and set up Sonar Music Office theme. And as the name suggests, these are premium themes that you can use for musicians and podcasters. And you can see this is compatible with Elementor, so you can create and manage the website just by drag and drop without any coding. And you will get 25 plus demos, stunning audio player, and this is built in with Elementor. So you can see explore music, podcast, and so on. And these are the available themes that you can get and you can customize. And besides these themes, you can also get MP3 audio player. You can get your WordPress themes, how you can get your Elementor template kits. And in this video, we will focus on how we can get one of these themes and then how we can set this up. And uh, you can learn more about this theme by following the link in the description, and uh, which will take you to this page where you can learn more about this theme. Now you can choose the demo that you need. Let's say I want to use this one, so I'll just open this. Then you can learn more about the theme and its pricing. And you can buy this theme directly from this page. Or you can go to all themes. And here you can get all these themes for just this price. And this is a lifetime license for all the themes. So let's scroll up and let's check its live demo. And this is the website that we will be creating in this video. As you can see on the top, we have logo, the navigation menu with home, episodes, about, and all the required pages. Then we have two call to actions here, and this is the main section where we have this title, subtitle, and play trailer. So if I play this, you will see the audio player here. So this is a very special player. You can see the name, the image, you can forward and back all this you can change the speed and so on you can also integrate your spotify podcast and podbean and you can get more subscriber there now if i scroll down you will see this aesthetic in the bottom so user can keep listening this and they can browse the rest of the page you can also play this one this will play with the same this will be played with the same player here and if you want to hide the player you can just click on this and that's it and these are the latest episodes with the images, titles, subtitles with the download button for the podcast or file. And then we have a call to action here and uh, we have some logo brands and then a photo. So very simple and clean layout and you can see on the right side we have this sidebar and you can explore all these pages. But now let me show you how you can get this theme and then how you can set this up. So again you can just go to the link in the description which will take you to this page. And here you can choose one of these themes or you can choose all themes and you can buy the theme. Just click on buy now then pay for it. Now I already have this theme let me show you so as you can see I have this theme Sonar and Sonar Child. Basically this is a child theme. Now we just need to upload this to our office. And for creating any type of websites that is either a personal website, a business website, e-commerce websites, you will need to have a domain name and hosting. And basically domain name is your website name. People will land on your page on your website after typing the URL. And hosting in simple words is an online storage where your website files will be stored, where you can manage SSL certificate, your domains, your emails, your databases, PHP versions and everything related to your website will be managed in the control panel in the hosting. You can also contact your hosting provider for any issue on your website or you can fix your issues right in the cPanel. And there are multiple platforms available that will provide you domain and hosting. The one I would suggest is Hostinger and if you follow this link in the description, you will get a discount on hosting. You will also get a free domain with hosting. Let me show you. So if you go to this link in the description and scroll down, you will see the plans here. So this is for a single website as you can see single WordPress, WordPress starter and so on. And these are the pricing you can see very normal and very affordable. If you scroll down, you will learn more about these plans. So here you can host one website, you will get this amount of storage, this amount of bandwidth. This one doesn't include a free domain and have weekly backups and so on. And with all these three plans, you will also get a free domain, unlimited SSL, which is this lock icon. This make your website trustworthy and secure. And you can get this amount of RAM, this amount of cores of CPU and so on. Please don't get confused here, just select any of these plans based on your budget and based on your website visitor and storage. And normally this plan will work for you as you can see this is most popular one. So just add this to cart. And this will take you to cart page where you can see the overview of the plan that we have selected. 
and then you can scroll down and you can choose a period so if you want to get this for one month 12 months 24 and so on so the more time you choose here the more discount you will get now the normal price here is 432 but if you scroll down with the discount you will get this hosting with 143 usd and this is for four years so just create an account here or log in with facebook or google then pay for this hosting and you will get this hosting for four years with a free domain for one year so once you pay for this then this will take you to its dashboard let me show you and this is how your dashboard will look and you will see the hosting plan that you have selected with your domain name and you can also create free domain emails using this plan so this is how you can get a domain name and hosting and now let me show you how you can install wordpress on your hosting so to install wordpress just go to your dashboard like this and then click on manage in front of your hosting so let's click on this and before installing wordpress let me visit the domain just to show you you can see there is nothing and we are set to go which means that our domain is ready we just need to install wordpress on this so let's go back and to install wordpress you can scroll down go to websites and you will see wordpress just click on that and if you don't see wordpress you can go to auto installer and you will find wordpress so let's click on wordpress and the first option is to detect wordpress so if you are not sure that this domain has wordpress or not you can detect your wordpress by clicking here so this is brand new domain and we don't have any wordpress installation here so i'll just click on install wordpress and here we can type our website title our email username and password and we'll select our domain that's it so let me quickly fill this and here make sure to choose https and don't write anything here we want our website directly on our domain and then we'll click next and then you can select the wordpress version so the most recent one is recommended you can choose your website language disk space and php version are fine and you can select update only minor version and then click install and that's it now this will install wordpress on this domain and i'll show you and now you can notice the dashboard is different and if you scroll down you will see more options and you will also see wordpress version installed here and now let's check our domain so if i refresh this we got a 2023 theme with hello world post you can find this theme and the post in the wordpress dashboard and to access the wordpress dashboard you can go back and here you can click on edit website and this will take you to wordpress dashboard and to upload a theme you can go to appearance themes here click add new and upload theme and then choose file and select the main theme first this is the main theme this is the child one i already have uploaded this let me show you if i go back to themes you can see i already have that theme let me show you how you can upload a theme so i'll upload the child theme we'll choose file and we'll just select that file and click open install now and now we already have the parent theme so we can go ahead and activate this one now using child theme is a best practice if you are making changes to the code files and you will see this notice thanks for using sonar make sure to enter your license key and you will get your license key from sonar.io website i'll put this later on and just like other premium themes you will get this notice to install some of the required plugins so let's go there and these are some plugins that are required for adding this theme so we will select all and we'll choose install apply and all plugins have been installed you can see all plugins installed and activated successfully let's go back to the dashboard and this will land up an elementor page where you can connect this with your account now i'll recommend you to connect this with your elementor account you can sign up for free the link will be in the description also and after that you will be able to use some advanced features like the ai feature that i discussed in my last video now before importing the demo website we will have to activate the license on our domain because you can see there is a problem with the demo importer the license key used is empty expired or invalid so you can log into your account and you can get your license key let me go there and here you can see the license key we can just copy this and paste it in the theme options let me just copy this and so let's go to theme options under appearance you will see theme setup and you can start this setup so let's click on start and as we have activated the child theme so let's go next and also the required plugins are active so let's go next 
and now let's activate my license so just copy your license and put it here and then click activate my license and success your license key is valid and that's it we have activated the theme now we can go ahead and import a theme demo so let's click on this and this is the theme that i just showed you and now we can import the whole content with this one click so just click on install click ok and this will start importing the content and that's it now this will reload the page and will take you to your website and that's it we got the whole website on our domain along with the logo navigation and all the required pages the main section and with all the posts with the audio player and so on so this was how you can get this theme and then how you can set up this demo content now let me quickly show you that how you can customize this website so you can edit any page with Elementor and by the way I have lots of videos about Elementor you can learn more about Elementor in my channel so let's edit this home page with Elementor you can just click on this where you can edit this footer with Elementor you can edit this header with Elementor or you can edit for cropter of canvas subscriber and so on basically these are these things and if you want to edit this home page you can just simply click on this ok let's update the database continue now this will open up Elementor page builder and this is the new Elementor AI feature that I have discussed in my last video let's click continue and you can also activate container but we can do this later and now let's see how we can change things so the first thing is you can change this title by just clicking here and then by changing the text here same goes for this text you can change the text over here or you can write with AI this is a call to action so this is basically a button you can change the text and the link and this is an episode so let's click on this and uh, welcome to my episode where you can change this title this is the artwork you can show and hide date you can hide category and so on and same goes for these posts so here you can display posts from a specific category you can display all and you can decide the number of posts here then you can also change these things using Elementor I'm not going to cover everything because Elementor is simple once you satisfied with changes you can just click on update and this will update and save your changes so this was how you can customize the website and if you want to change the logo and the footer you can go back and again you can go to edit with Elementor and you can edit footer or header let's click header you can click on this and this is the site logo so here you can change your logo then you can click on this you can choose your menu that and you can have different menus in your dashboard i'll show you later on this is another call to action and uh, this is another header which is currently hidden but here you can start customizing your header and again you can update your changes here now to customize the colors in the site logo the navigation you can go back to your dashboard and here you can go to theme options where you can enable audio player ajx you can change typography you can change the menu option footer options audio player podcasts and so on so you can explore these options and you can do the settings based on your need and to remove the podcast and add a new one you can go to all episodes you can add a new you can change the categories you can delete the current podcast and so on this video was just to show you that how you can get this theme and then how you can set up the demo content then you can customize this based on your need and to learn more about WorldFace and Elementor you can visit my channel I have lots of videos about WorldFace and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next